Hello everybody. Uh, I just want you to know I did not get thrown out of the silent retreat. Uh, it was it was a success. Uh, it was a challenge, let me tell you, to sit across from someone eating and someone next to you eating and not being able to talk to them. Um, I kind of cheated a little bit. I whispered a little bit, uh, but it was fine. It was it was a, a very good retreat. Uh, incidentally, they said we have two announcements. This was at dinner on Saturday. I said, oh boy, I had like a pit in my stomach. They said, number one, someone, we, we found a knife in the trash and it was a little tinfoil around it. And apparently someone threw a butter knife away inadvertently. So that wasn't a big deal. The second one was somebody uh, let two people into the building, two random people that were coming to see the the, the grounds, uh, and they were not welcomed inside, someone let them in. He said, whatever you do, please don't let anybody in. That's very dangerous. It could, you know, could, uh, you know, harm our lives. Um, that person who was me, I, I let the two guys in. I was leaving. They were kind of coming in. I figured they were part of the gang, so I, you know, just let them in, and I shouldn't have done that. So I can get in trouble even without speaking, I found. Uh, and it's, you know, that's, that's just how I am. Anyhow, the benefit that I received, I received the benefit not so much there, but when I left there and reflecting last night when I was praying and everything else, I was at a better state. And, and that's sometimes when you do things that are difficult, it helps you in, in other areas of your life. I don't know if I'm making sense. My hands are going all over the place. But anyhow, hopefully you know what I mean. I'll check in with you the middle of the week. In the meantime, be well, stay well. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.